Welcome to today's lesson on Polygon Review. Today we're going to be reviewing what a basic polygon is, as well as how to identify different types of polygons. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to begin today by discussing what you need to have a polygon. Well, if you're trying to find a polygon, you need to make sure that the polygon has at least three sides. You also need to make sure that these three sides are made out of straight lines. The sides cannot curve or turn. And lastly, you need to make sure that all of the sides meet to create a closed figure. Before we begin our practice today, let's go ahead and review what we name different polygons depending on how many sides they have. Any three-sided polygon is called a triangle. Four-sided polygons are called quadrilaterals. Some of them include square, rectangle, parallelogram, rhombus, also known as a diamond, and kites. All of these are four-sided polygons. Let's go ahead and look at a few more. Five-sided polygons are called pentagons. Six-sided polygons are called hexagons. Seven-sided polygons are called heptagons. Eight-sided polygons are called octagons. Nine-sided polygons are called nonagons. And ten-sided polygons are called decagons. All right, let's go ahead and use this to practice our polygons. Let's practice our polygons today using this scene that you can see on your screen. Now, as you can see, we have many different shapes in this scene. Let's go ahead and zoom in on a few so that we can practice our polygons. Let's go ahead and start right here with our stop sign. Let's zoom in. As you can see, our stop sign is made out of straight lines. It is a closed figure and has at least three sides. That means it's a polygon. But which polygon is it? Let's go ahead and count our sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This polygon has eight sides. So what do we call an eight-sided polygon? That's right, we call it an octagon. That means that this stop sign is an octagon. Let's go ahead and look at our picture again and see if we can zoom in on another polygon. Now that we've had a chance to see our stop sign and see that our stop sign is an octagon because it has eight sides, let's go ahead and try to look for another polygon. This time, we're going to zoom in on this window. What type of polygons can we find here? Let's see. Let's examine this window right here. There are so many polygons in this picture. We're going to focus on one. It's the polygon that's shown in this window pane. I'm going to highlight it so that we can see it better. As you can see, this polygon has four sides. It's made out of straight lines and it's a closed figure. So this polygon is a quadrilateral. And if we want to be more specific, we can also say that it is a rectangle. Let's go ahead and see if we can find some more rectangles in this picture. Let's look at the entire window. This window also has four sides made out of straight lines. So we have another quadrilateral. Now I want you to find another rectangle on this brick wall. There were so many to choose from. Let's look at one. As you can see, we have a four sided shape that's a closed figure made out of straight lines. This was one rectangle, but you have many others to choose from. Great job. Let's go ahead back to our main picture to find some more polygons. Now that we've seen an example of a rectangle that has four sides, let's look at one more polygon together. This time, we're going to zoom in on our beehive. What can we find in here? Let's take a look at the honeycomb in our beehive. Now, as you can see, if we focus in on one piece, we have a very clear polygon made out of straight lines, a closed figure with at least three or more sides. Let's count how many sides this polygon has. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. This is a six-sided polygon. We call that a hexagon. Let's go back to our main picture and see if we can find any more polygons. You've done a great job searching through these images trying to find polygons. I have one last challenge for you. Can you find two pentagons in this picture? All right, remember, a pentagon has to have five sides. We have two pentagons. Our first pentagon is this side of the house. Our second pentagon is this side where we have a window in the roof. So we have two pentagons in this image. Great job. Let's take a minute to review what you've learned in today's lesson. Remember, a polygon must have at least three sides made out of straight lines and must be a closed figure. And to identify what type of polygon we have, we must look at how many sides are in the shape. For example, three-sided polygons are triangles, four-sided polygons are quadrilaterals, five-sided polygons are pentagons, six-sided polygons are hexagons, seven-sided polygons are heptagons, eight-sided polygons are octagons, nine-sided polygons are nonagons, and ten-sided polygons are decagons.